you can um, put some of the picture in the chatting box and I can see during the lesson, I will tell you how to how to do the uh, to solve the problem or whether it is okay to uh, to do, do the design. Okay, so first just as part of my uh, introduction, you can just take a look and uh, I believe some of you already have my uh, lessons before, right? Actually, uh, today still, yeah, Jack is here and help you to solve some of the problem. Okay, uh, just before before we get start from the very beginning, just pay attention here. A very useful tool logic. I would like in, to invite you to not take a note or just screenshot to note it down because this is very important for advanced user because we need to focus on all this logic, including some of the very important parts, okay? So from the very beginning, floor plan, decoration, render, yeah, that's the three steps, okay? From the very beginning, that's of, of course the most important. However, today we are going to focus on this, finishes, okay, finishes, and even, before we put some furniture inside the area, inside the room, okay? We still need to finish these finishes beforehand, okay? This is very important. The finishes also include, for example, doors, windows, or some of the, for example, the uh, opening holes, okay? That's also included in the finishes, but most uh, important three, the ceiling design, the floor, and the wall, okay? Each of them contains the editor, okay? Especially for the design. I believe you have already tried this before, okay? That's why we call ourselves advanced user. And not only for finishes, we you can use this one, but also we can have the construction free drawing, okay? So these three, ceiling, floor, wall, they all include only one faces, okay? Only in one face you do the design, whatever it's the corner line, whether it is the painting or it's the paving, okay? That's all only in one face, okay? In one face. However, in construction free drawing, later we will talk about it, it's already exceed the limitation of one face. There can be multi faces in construction free drawing. Today we will talk about these two. All right, okay, so let's get a very started, okay, the beginning, the sitting editor, all right. So actually for our design tool, you can, of course, you can um, click one of the design case of yours and to open, to assess. First, in the area, of course, we have the floor, okay, the floor editor, the wall editor, and the city, all right. And most of the time, I suggest you to do the ceiling design from the very beginning. Yeah, from the very beginning, ceiling, the first. And later we can talk about why, okay? I will tell you why we need to do that. And for some of the ceiling, maybe you already see some of the styles like this, okay? That's very easy for you to do some design. So this time I will show you this very simple one, or I just show part of you, a part of them to you. For example, like this, actually you can use the design logic. This is the five steps to do the design ceiling, okay? So five steps, what are they? Step one, to draw the edge and set the extrusion. So when you open, this case, okay, when you draw out, you, you when you draw out the area, when you draw out the area, you can see if it is correct, you can already have one room, okay? And then you can put, you can put your mouse onto the ceiling, okay, in 3D, click the ceiling, you have the ceiling editor, and now you can just directly to use, okay, directly to use the suspend ceiling editor. This time we have so many, okay, so many items to use the tools, okay? From the very, very beginning, rectangle. Most of the time we use the rectangle, okay? Frequently click and then just directly to draw out, okay? You can just easy to draw out, click 
and move your mouse and click. And then we can finish one, okay? One rectangle, okay? Draw the edge. This is the edge. Of course, sometimes you might find some uh, multi, multi uh, shapes. For example, the rectangle, you can draw out like this, okay? Give the area for the curtain or for some decoration. And even sometimes, of course, I can use the line. See that I can use the line to click, okay, to click. Just cut the edge. That's the first, okay, the first step from very beginning. And if you want to click to delete, just click and delete, all right? And then you can have some shapes, okay, some shapes. And also another topic is the set extrusion. So this time we can have this different areas, okay? One area, two area, and even here, the three area, okay? One, two, three. Now, if you want, if you want, you can see the detail here. See that? If you finish drawing, you can see the edge. And just directly click here, you have the extrusion. Click the extrusion, for example, 300, 200, okay? And then you can have the shape. So this is the most basic way to adjust. Okay, this is the easiest way to adjust extrusion because here extrusion means the, the thickness from the ceiling, top of the ceiling to go downward, to go downward. And how many you type in, that's the uh, millimeter, millimeter. And if you type in different number, for example, here 80, and you can have the different, okay, the thickness of the ceiling, okay. So with this time, you can have the first draw edge, set extrusion, and the second is to click the line and set the light strip, okay. Most of the time, we prefer to use light strip or sometimes you might find part of it, this didn't contain the light strip, okay. You can have these two. First, with the light strip, First, click the line, set the light strip. For example, I click here, click this one, okay, this line. When your mouse turns to double head arrow, it means you click successfully. And then you can have here, set light through and light, light strip, okay? Click intent or intent or the expansion, okay? You can click and here, if you see this one, this very thick blue line, which means the edge, it doesn't move. However, the light strip, which means condense the light through, okay, go inside. This is inside. But if you click here, external, which means go outside. See that, that's the difference, okay? Just pay attention here. You can only use one, okay? You, you can only use one. For example, <clears throat> here. Because I allow this one in to uh, with the thickness, the gap is the 232, okay? If you want the very exact, just click the line. You can set the border, for example, the gap 200, okay? That's very standard. Same here, click the line, set the border 200, okay? That's the gap from this line to this line, okay? And then you click, for example, here, we can use the external expansion, see that? And now you can have the light strip, okay? Like have the light strip, set the light strip, okay? But not just this end, not just the end. And then you click still the line, still the line. Here we have the session plan, session plan. When you click, you can see here. You have light strip, click, then you can have this one. Okay, this is the light strip. And you can adjust the light through. For example, here, normally give a number, same here, just give a shorter number. In order to let the lights turn it out, okay, you, you move here. Even sometimes if you click the light strip, you can adjust, for example, uh, 210 and now you can see the light strip go up a little bit with the lights 
light it up here, the area. Okay, if you put it too deep inside, the light will show only, for example, like this one, like this part. Okay, that's not enough. You can click to move. Okay, and after finish one, after finish one, just pay attention here. Don't end it up and start to adjust another because here we can <clears throat> we can do some session. Okay, session edit. Just now we've finished that because you click here. We have the session plan. You can have the session edit. This is the session edit. And if you want, you can add some corner line. Later, I will tell you how to do. Okay, we have some with the light strip, but some without the light strip. Okay, and then we can have the duplicate. So you don't need to, you don't need to turn to another, click done. You don't need to turn to another to adjust again, no need. Because you click this line, just duplicate. Okay, and then you can have the, the border. Okay, so another part, if you session edit without the light strip, you can add just corner line. For example, here, inside this area, you click, still the same here. This time, I didn't want to put some, for example, the, core, uh, the light strip inside. I just need some of the decoration, the corner line. So still, I click session edit. And this time, you can see at corner line, you can have so many, the multi-selections. You can put the corner modeling because it already tells you to, to put some corner lines. So you can click and you find some of the uh, constructions. You, you can find some of the uh, cut, okay? That's the cut face, that's the faces. And you can also click to put, okay? Click to put or adjust. If you don't want, you can delete, okay? Just select, select your preference to put, okay? Just pay attention here, we have three different areas. For example, if I want to put this, I want to put this most of the time, I might click and just put here because this is the corner, okay? 90 degree, that's the corner inside. For this part, maybe you, you can put some of it like this, okay? But don't put too much. Normally just one or two is enough, okay? One or two is enough. This, we have three in total. So. Once you put one of the uh, corner line here, and in this part, you have some other areas to add. For example, here, corner line, but this, okay, pay attention here. This is the red zone, okay, the red zone. You can click decorate modeling, okay? So here you can not only just to put some of the corner, but also you can put some the, the models, for example, that's the line, okay, very thin, very thin. And even this time when you click, you can adjust the horizontal offset to move, okay? To move to the detail area. For example, uh, I put 100, but it's the below zero because here uh, to the left is below, but to the right is above. So just pay attention what, what exact number you prefer just to put, okay? And then you can click that. And even sometimes if you want to adjust to some other material, you can click again. So we have a material replacement, okay? For example, I put some bronze or uh, metal, uh, sorry, uh, bronze or black model catalog black okay you can change the materials okay either it's wood or it's metal or it's the marble okay it's your preference when you click you change okay when you click you change and after finish that you can also have one okay already finished rows okay you can see like this and this time you can click to duplicate, okay? Just pay attention, you can change. You can change to, uh, to other uh, different, different uh, uh, the, the, the materials, okay? And click duplicate and duplicate, duplicate. And now you can have 
this kind of uh, uh, decoration. Okay, just pay attention here. Sometimes you might find it. It does contain some gap. See, it does contain some gap for the light strip. Actually, it's already auto snapped it. Okay. From the detail, the final outcome of the detail, it doesn't uh, show some shows you some of the uh, difference. Okay, it's all the pale or impaled in the plate. All right, and also just here, pay attention, pay attention here. Extrusion. Okay, first to put some numbers to the extrusion, then to adjust. Otherwise, you can't see the section plan in different level. You can only see a very uh, pale line, okay, just in a very horizontal way, okay? It doesn't have the gap if you don't put the extrusion, all right? So this is the step, okay, the step uh, four, duplicate line. And also sometimes you might find some chamfer. You can click, you can click. Here we have chamfer. Okay, I personally recognize you uh, to recommend you to use chamfer after you finish all this. Okay, all, all this line duplicate because when you finish one rectangle and you turn to chamfer, it may show, see that? It may show like this, okay, with all the decoration. Okay, with all the decoration. But however, see that? See this line. If you go to chamfer, it will disappear because this line only allows you to use when it shows in 19 degree, okay? This is 90 degree. You can't go to chamfer it, okay? But if you really want to, if you really want to go, for example, okay, I still need a chamfer corner, however, still with the line, you can also use that, click, okay? Also use that, but you need to do Again, session plan at the corner line, for example, the, the decorate, okay, decorate, put the here, oh, no. good, here go some offset, AT. yeah, and finish that. Now we can have one, still you can click to go duplicate, all right, so this is the very useful way to do some uh, to do some design for the ceiling. That's the duplicate line and click to chamfer. All right. And finally, we can go to the spotlights, okay, or the downlight. And after finish all this, after finish all this, you can check here. You can you can have a preview box. You can see some of the detail. All right. Of course, you can put some light here, for example, lighting, chandelier, okay? You can put the lights uh, per your request or your demanding, just put, okay? Just put to use, it's very easy. But another part is that if you want to put some of the spotlight or downlight, because this, it contains a series number, you can't put just one or two, Duplicate is also hard to use. So you can click, you can click. Here we have the downlight or spotlight and you can click to just directly put. For example, here I need some of the rows, okay? Uh, the, the lines, I can put, okay, put one and we can use the array in row or line. You can click. You have the array, okay? Click the spotlight, use the array, and now move, move your mouse. If you can't uh, tell, uh, you, you can't see the edge or can't see the whole picture, use your right mouse button, okay? Holding down your right mouse button to move your canvas and move your mouse downward. And now we can have so many. Of course, I don't need that much. You can use the spacing or quantity for spacing. For spacing, it means that you need how much distance between one to another. That's in the horizontal way, X. That's the vertical way, Y. So just put numbers, for example, 1000. This one, 1000 as well, okay, 1000. And now you can see, you can see here, it, it changed. 
with your table, okay? Your button, your keyboard button, table, T-A-B, table, you can switch from X to Y to adjust, okay, to type number, all right? And now you can see each 1,000 millimeter, you put one. If your mouse goes not enough, it won't put. If enough, you can put one, okay? This is spacing. Of course, you can use the quantity. Quantity means I just ignore the distance. I just have this uh, in total, for example, I already purchased five, okay, five spotlights. So I want to put in this line. I just remain the number. However, just pay attention here, X or Y. If you don't know what it means, you can try, for example, X put one, which means that's a line, okay, that's in line. And Y means, Y means that's in the, <coughs> sorry, in the row, okay, Y in the row. So here, if you see in your Canva, that's five row, okay, one, two, three, four, five, but with only one line. So X, Y, Y equals to five. And now you, you can put your mouse, click in the final position, for example, here. And then you can see that's the array. Array is very, very useful, okay? Especially you have so many uh, multi products to put, you can use this one. Of course, you can use the duplicate as well. Duplicate is very easy. And even sometimes if you put, you can see here, we have a line, okay? That's the position, okay? Helping you to put. For example here, because we have the uh, doors, okay, we have that doors. I don't need to put, I don't need to put so many um, the spotlights, okay, it's enough. So I just put here, okay. And then if you finish putting, you can click right mouse button to end that. And finally, take a look here, okay, three, 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 that's the gap. So click, okay, adjust to the same number and now, you can have the function, okay. So this is very useful. And even sometimes if you really find it, okay, I have so many uh, different lines, okay. First, I finish this, this part. And here I also wanted another line, exactly the same. You can hold down shift button to multi-select, okay, click and shift button multi-select, okay, just pay attention here. Remember to click back. You can have these three also in the group. And then find this array. Now let's go again, okay? Quantity, two, one, to put. And now you can have, okay, you can have this, okay? So this is also a very useful way to finish that, okay? Just ignore the shape because sometimes uh, here it doesn't show the exact position, okay? And then we return, we get a return to check if it is proper. If it's improper, okay, so uh, maybe some of the, uh, here is something wrong. Yeah, maybe this is not exactly the position. So, saving editor, let's return. <coughs> You can also just delete, okay? You can also just delete to put again, okay? So this is also the edit way, okay? I'll show you again, this is the final, this is the final step for the saving design, spot, light or down light, okay? This is very important because if you want to put some or uh, if you want to put the so many lights, okay? It's very, very useful to put. Let's check. Okay, improper, proper position. All right, click, array, quantity, one, five. Okay, just pay attention here. If in the row, that's five, one. See that difference, okay? Just pay attention here. 
click to put to duplicate All right same here again put we we'll just pay attention here you see the you see this uh, light you see this light blue right when you put you can see here okay mark out the position with the exact number to the edge okay. and duplicate selection if you can't click first and then holding down shift button to select okay the rest and every quantity to one put and we can have it all right Okay, so finally, uh, here we have it. Uh, this one still remains, uh, for example, these two, we can put some, uh, for example, of the modern lights, okay? Just to put. Okay, because this is the, exactly the model. You don't need to pay too much attention here. And uh, if you, ca you can see here, my number changed because I'm uh, holding down, my direction button okay up or down left or right you can holding down this button to move exactly the position you prefer okay also you can just put and return click exit with save and return to the main page to do the adjustment as well okay it, it also contains the same uh, same solutions okay so this is our way and also here lights, you can have so many because you can help yourself to do the quick selection. For example, here, I need a light for the dining hall. That's the restaurant. So click and we can find some of the detail, for example, the lights, right? And you can also select to put, click, select to put, okay? Okay, so here you can see it's very big. You can adjust, adjust the size, okay? So it's not hard to actually, just before we exit this part, one that we useful uh, tips for you. If you want to use this shape next time, you don't need to draw another row, okay? In another row, you don't need to draw. You just directly click, click and you can save it, for example, here. If you click here, my account, we have my styling, okay? My styling, uh, the shape, okay? This is my styling ceiling. If you want to use, you can here model, okay? To save as a ceiling template, but don't click this one because if, when you click this one, you save all this area. I just need this, this shape. For example, so I can just click this smaller triangle, select the ceiling template manually. Click. Okay, if you have so many, for example, if you have uh, this one, for example, 100. hundred is not enough, 150. Okay. For example, you, you have these two areas. And I also put some of the modelings. Okay. In the models, okay, the decorative. Give it another. Yeah, directly put, you can also have this shape. If you want to save, for example, here, my styling, this one, manually. First, it's internal. See that blue dot, blue dot. And holding down shift button, you can select more. See that now you can have two different areas, but in the one shape. And click done. Select to living room, template name as per your request and done. Now you have this shape 
save. Okay. Next time, if you want to use, for example, here, if you want to use, I use this one. If you want to use, just directly click to apply and adjust the size. Okay. With that done, of course you can click auto matched. For example, auto matched. Click done. And now you finish another. So it's it is it is not hard actually. Okay. By the way, you can click to change. Change it to this part, to this part. Okay. Now you see here, it's safe. If you just delete this one or move to another room, so let move to another room, you can quickly finish one or two design, the main uh, functions, the main shapes, okay, to finish that. And for the rest part, just pay attention for about the, for example, the spot line, the array, okay, the main lines, you can quickly to put them to save your time. Okay, so this is the step, okay, five step to do the ceiling editing. So let's see, actually for this part, you can have this, this, okay, the spotlights, you can have the main design, all right, with these five steps. And if you want some very uh, other, other uh, functions, for example, like the curved, the curved edge, I can tell you how to do it, but many, many uh, steps that will be shown here because five steps is the most important thing. Now, if you feel like it's very important, just uh, to mark down or do your screenshot, okay? The screenshot, print screen, okay? This is very important. Later we will use. And also here, you can see, this is also, also not only for the ceiling, but also you can use in wall design, okay? Actually for the ceiling and the wall, they share the same logic, okay? So one part, you get familiar with the next, the rest part, it will be much easier for you. Is it, is it okay here? If you have any question, you can use your texture box or you can just uh, open your mic and to try to uh, announce, okay? I'm also ready for you here for you to solve the problem. You can, of, of course, you can send some pictures that I can help you to um, to analyze how to how to do the design, okay? Right. If it is okay, let's try something different. For example, for example, this time get something complicated, okay? And of course, you can see since just now we we've tried the chamfer, okay? We've tried the chamfer. What about, what about this kind, this kind of shape? Okay, you see the ceiling that with the chamfer as well for the section. So this part, this time, just ignore the harness because we still return. We still need to return to the, uh, to the main part. For example, this delete, I did this one. Still we return to the main part for the session. Okay, you can see here, this is the curve section. So we still need to use the session edit, okay? Of course here, if you need, if you need, you can click, you can click to get the external expansion, light strip, okay, the same. However, pay attention here. However, you need to put some, okay, curve session here. Okay, the arc session in the corner line here. For example, we have the corner modeling. Okay, try to find something called the curve. <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can put some of the triangle like this. Okay, but also here is not enough. Let's find it. For example, for example, here, the curve. You see this one? 
okay? It's called the radian line, okay? Actually, it's curved. So if you find it really hard to, just pay attention here. Click Add to Favorite, okay? In our cool home design system, whether you can find whatever you can find the small star, if you click, that means you add to favorite. Where's the favorite? Here, my account favorite. And you can click, do the quick solution. See, also here, adjust. Okay, even this time, you can click, you have unlink. Okay, you can have. You can have this unlink, and now you don't need to worry about the thickness. Okay, you can just directly independently do the modification. <coughs> Sorry, you can see change. Okay, and done. After finish one, duplicate. Get some more, some more. Finish that. Continue. Okay, especially for the chamfer. Quite good. And now you can have it. See? That is not harder. When you copy the roof, it is not move uh not move the same. Okay. Uh I'm not sure if you're talking about the position or the shape. Okay. Uh if you use this one, of course, if you uh you if you want to put if you want to uh, put the styling, see, if you move here, it only, okay, it only recognize the lines, okay? It, it can't save, for example, the spotlight. It can't save the exact position or the comparing position of the main lines, okay? It can't do. So only recommend this, okay, these lines, okay? Only lines, only lines. Although it recognizes only lines, it only um, remember the lines, okay? But it still saves quite a lot of time. You can move here to move, okay? This is some of the functions. You, you can, of course, adjust. You can use one of the lines to adjust, but try to, try to put some of the detail, okay? Try to put some of the detail on the lines, but not other, models okay not not the models only the lines so this is the way to use right because it will save you quite a lot lot of time if you want to do the so many rooms okay <clears throat> so if it is okay for this one let's get, uh, let's continue for some other situation for example this part just now we've already put one right we already finished this one. So how about this? How about this? Actually, it's, it's not hard because when you have already have some of the, uh, the, the, the shape, for example, I use this kitchen, okay, this kitchen, edit. You can only just use the offset. Offset means to go around, okay, either inside or outside. Normally we use the inside. For example, give the gap, 50, okay, 50 millimeter, okay, very thin, and click right mouse button. And now you can see here, extrusion, you have one, but this one, extrusion, extrusion, zero, zero. Now put the number in the middle, extrusion. For example, uh, just less than this one, for example, let's say uh, three, 3, 000, uh, sorry, 350, okay. Just give a very small, small shape. Now you can see that, right? Also, sometimes I also find some of uh, our uh, user, of our user, they prefer to put, put some of the corner, okay, corner lines here. You can just ignore the edge. You don't need to use duplicate. For example, to seal the border. You can just directly click the model catalog. Here we have, for example, the modelings, okay? The decorate modelings. You can just click to put, to put to the edge, okay? Oh, sorry, this is too thick, okay, too thick. 
Let's say something smaller, mm, smaller, smaller. For example, what is the size? You can see here size. Okay, 90, 90, 90. Ah, enough. And then you put, you can see the edge. Okay, all sealed. Okay, the edge has been sealed. So you can use this one. Okay, you can even use this way to put some of the decorate. Okay, decorate the line very easily. Just pay attention some of the directions. Okay, don't put some of the direction like that because it's for the floor, it's not for the ceiling. Just put some the edge like that. Okay. Okay. Besides that, it doesn't contain so many uh, <clears throat> complicated things. Okay. But also sometimes you find something very, very special called the outside corner model, like this. Okay. Uh, this part, uh, if you really want to use, actually it contains two different areas. For example, you can see here, when you put the session for this uh, corner modeling, where's that? Uh, outside, yeah, this outside, which means it covered these two areas, the red, red zone and the purple zone. For example, click to put. See, we sealed all the edge, sealed up all this, all the of this edge. See this one, right? See that? So this is also another way. Okay, another way. For example, I if I feel like want to decorate this, okay, very sharp, very sharp corner, I can use this one. Put and done, and also click. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. See, now it covered the edge, covered the edge. So with that, you can get so many shapes. You can get so many shapes. And I'm not sure if you can see like this one. This is something new, okay? This, this is the... Uh, rails, okay, the rails on the top and you can put some of the mount, okay. Uh, how to copy section of lines to other, okay. Just now I, I already used this one, okay, click, okay, click the line that already you finish decorating, already finish the settings, okay, you finish this one, you click, and here we have duplicate, just to duplicate other duplicate other, and now you can have fully decorated the edge. It is not hard, see? So just like this, okay? Just click the line. Which line you want to use as the model, just click. When your mouse turns to, for example, like this, the double head, you click, you have duplicate, and then click other, all right? And sometimes for this kind of railings, okay, uh, if you want, you can also use, you can, you can use the decorating, but just pay attention here because this is very popular because it, the design style shows very modern, okay? Uh, you, you can just uh, ignore the line. You can just simply to use the rectangle, okay? For example, to draw out. Here, I don't need this one. I change this to another rectangle, draw, draw the line, okay, this one, rectangle, draw that, and adjust. The thing is, for example, to 30, very thing, okay, 30, and pay attention here, how's that extrusion, 300. What is the extrusion? 300. So here, because the rail just uh, a little gap below it. So you can use, for example, 290. Okay, 290 to make it very, very thin, but still inside, build inside. And then you can put some of the models from lights. Okay, from lights. For example, here, you can have the, uh, not chandelier, not cinnamon. Okay. Sometimes that's spotlight. You can 
put for example like this one or you put the line like this okay according to your preference sometimes sometimes even sometimes i prefer to put just like inside okay some of the functions you can use okay like this uh, this is too big okay still you can use array or per your request see we can put into the middle or as per your request requisition put it here put it here okay you, you can move because this is portable so you can move this uh, light you can move the light element to some of the position you don't need to put in a very exact position and finally just find some black mappings black mapping let's get some black not finishing and no, no not the lines the black mappings mapping black yeah like this click to put see now you can have some different lights and shows here even you can have some for example the spotlight or downlight okay just to put on the rail you can just put on the rail you can build up you can build up of course of course you can you directly use the spotlight for example you can have this railings okay also to put it there per your request so you can have so many like this one okay for the rest of part i will show you okay uh by the way by the way if you i'm not sure if you would like to know how to put the air condition assess or the the the, the this part area do you know how to build that like this do, do you ever try to think about this one, this part? Do you need to know that, this one? The assess of the, yeah, the beam. Uh -huh. Yeah, AC cabin. <laughs> uh, AC cabin. Yeah, this one. Do you know? If you want to put, uh, I can show you, I can show you. Of course, it, it still re requires a little uh, an adjustment. Yeah, a little adjustment. For example, for example, when you want to put, let's say put it here, okay? Because here we have the sofa, okay? Let the air condition come here. So you, when you click this line, first, you, of course you need that gap from extrusion. This part is the uh, 300 and this part is 80. So we have the gap. Now you click this line, still click the line and find the elevation here. Okay, normally we use the session plan. We ignore the things below. But here, this time, if you want to put, you need to put it here elevation, at the elevation. See, you have the gap. Also, we can have some appliance, okay? You can find out, for example, because this is belongs to appliance, so you can find out this one to put. Uh, you can have this. Of course, it's too big. And adjust the size. For example, put it here. Let me check if it is in the right position. Okay. Don't put this AC uh, access uh, directly to the person. Okay. Don't don't put it like this. Just a little gap. Okay. And finish. But Sometimes you can also find it if you want to put here below. You can also, <clears throat> sorry, you can also find the installation if it is at the ceiling or at the elevation. This time we need to put on the ceiling. So click, okay, to sort out. And now you can click one, stay here. All right, just don't get confused from this to the elevation, okay. If you put this, if you put this, if you find, for example, um, I change another line. Let me show you some of the uh, wrong pullings, for example. 
uh, if it is put, not shows like that. For example, shows like this one, very thin, which means improper. It's not correct. So just delete. Okay, if you find it, okay, very big, you can have the scale, you can have the size, which means it's correct. Just pay attention here. Okay, besides then, actually nothing much. So this is the AC system. Yeah. Soft, problem soft, right? You can have the assets, you can have the position. Yeah. So this is the way to do it. For the rest part, just put it in and the uh, light strip and the uh, rails, okay, decorations. It's not hard. Now, setting finish one. This is the basic. And if no other, I will continue with this. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Do you ever make this kind of situation that you need to design? If yes, you, which you prefer to know from the very beginning? This time, I put the selections to uh, rise to you. It's your choice, which you want to see, which. The first one, and, and the third, which one, this one? Okay, uh, the curved, okay. Curved second, okay, someone say second, this one. Okay, first, wow. One and three, okay, the second. Okay, I believe one, two, three, the popular choice, okay, <laughs> okay. So let's continue, all right. This time, delete, delete, okay. Uh -huh. Need. So if you want to do some of the adjustment here, the adjustment here, you can use this curve, okay? From the very beginning, you can see just here, you can have different levels, okay? The bottom, the middle, the top, you can have three different levels at least. So if you want to put, just use this curve. First, to draw one curve, okay? When you use this curve line, just pay attention, First, first, use your mouse, click, and to move, okay, from the start point to end point, okay, and then move your mouse to adjust this curve. You can have the distance, okay, you can have the distance, the height of this curve, or you can have the degree, see the degree, okay, so for example, this one, finish, and the second, Continue, use your right mouse button to move and click. And now you can see, you can see here, if you want to put a very fluent, the fluent line, please put your, put your eyes here. Pay attention on the gap, okay, on this gap. Try to just make it very pale, very smooth. See, now it's very smooth. And also here, the end point. Try to put your eyes on here, okay? You can see the gap, okay? Just ignore the rest to put, focus on this, okay? Focus on this, okay? After finish one, click your right mouse button. And the second, you draw, okay? Okay, don't draw that, that much, for example. Get a very smooth, get a very smooth. Okay, one, two, three, you can draw the different arrow, for example, with the extrusion. For example, this one from the top, okay, just ignore or 100. This part, extrusion, give 200. The third, 300. And now you can build up. You can build up the different shape, see that. And then, of course, we need a light strip. You can use the intent, okay? And also adjust the light strip. Just uh, now we'll talk about it, all right? 
And just pay attention here. Don't put too much. Don't put too much for this gap because you need the lights coming out. Okay. Give a small gap. Just the thing is, give a very small number and then do duplicate, duplicate, continue to duplicate. And now we can have it. Of course, if you want very special, special shape or the special uh, function or the special uh, curve line, you can upload the CAD profile, the CAD, the CAD profile. If you import the CAD, just remember, you need to import one shape, okay? Which means that all sealed up. You can't import, for example, just one line. If you just put one line, the result would be like this. For example, I finished. However, next time, if I go to other lines, it will disappear, okay? Or import the exact sealed up, the sealed up shape. Remember it, import the sealed up independent shape, one, two, three, four, and add up to whole function, to all, all this, okay? By the way, if you want to put, if you want to put the uh, lighting, for example, the spotlight, mm, give me my spotlight, downlight, okay, downlight, it will automatically put to the bottom line, okay? You don't need to worry, you don't need to worry the exact position. See, okay, you can see here, it automatically snap, okay? So this is the way to adjust. Of course, some of it, you can, uh, let's return to, to check. If it is improper, it will shows, it will shows like this. Okay, this number, if it is equal to this, which means it's, it's uh, incorrect. So you can see this one, okay, 2,400. This one, 2,500, correct. And this one, yeah, that is, that is okay. You don't need to worry about, worry about, about that position of it. Okay, this is the first, but the second, this one, I believe um, most of you prefer to know this, okay? And this is uh, some, some situation that we talk about is not able to do from the ceiling design, the ceiling editor is not able to, but another kind of situation, it still can, I show you first, okay? I show you the first, first. Yeah. If, if, okay, <clears throat> if this one, this ceiling is not, it's not, okay, it doesn't, if this ceiling, it doesn't contain the gap, for example, the one, this one, it doesn't contain the gap, just snap to the edge, and we can use this one. We can use the wall editor to take it, to take it as part of the ceiling. Okay, let me show you how to do. For example, this time I show you from this side, okay, this side to that one, that part. Uh, first, I need to know, okay, I need to know what exact position is the curve. So first rectangle. Okay, this is one shape. And now give the curve. For example, give the curve. Pay attention to this part. All right. And even like this. First step, draw the edge, right? Now draw the edge and extrusion. 
this time I need to borrow the line because I feel like, okay, this is the whole area, the whole area, the whole length. I need that extrusion. So just bring it here. I need to move a little bit. Uh, who's now drawing on my desk. Okay. Who's now drawing on the desk? Pay attention. Uh, please, who's the host? Please just delete the, all this uh, authorization. All right. And this time I need that lens. This delete all the authorization of doing the note. Okay, this is strange. Now I need that extrusion. Okay, 9,290. Okay, let's return here. 9,290. After that, we can have a very fluent, fluent ceiling. See? Okay, but what if, what if it shows like this one? You have to get either this side, this side, this side. So how? That's, that returns to the question we start sharing by today. How? You can't draw out in only one phase. So this time, let's invite today's advanced tool Construction. Okay, construction. Here, this is the construction tool. Okay, for advanced user. You can, of course, here you can find out the rectangle, but with the arc. Okay, it's not curved, it's called arc. Still the same. First, to draw out, to draw out, and Use the curve. Still, put your eyes here. Focus on the gap. Okay, the connection point. Still here, the connection point. All right, and to fill this shape. After that, you can delete the line. Just pay attention here. If you click the surface, the face, which means all this shape. You can have so many choices. If you want to delete the line, if you delete the line, you only have two, two choices, two choices, move or delete. All right, pay attention here. And then use the push. This time, push whatever you prefer. For example, here, I push to this edge, but this time also push back. And now you can see the ceiling now, it's independent. The shape is independent. Okay. The exact number can be controlled by when you click the push, you can have the distance. For example, this one, this direction or this direction, you move and put the distance, for example, nine, uh, 200. And now you have the exact gap. Okay. You can delete the line, but with this kind of uh, connection dot, you can't delete, see, if I click, you can't delete. Only delete is the shape, okay? So this is the way to put some of the uh, models, okay? You, now you start to draw the model, okay? And if you find it, for example, this one, okay? You find it some of the entity zone here, which means you need a beam, okay? You need a beam. So you can also adjust before, you push here, use this one, offset, offset, okay, give a gap, or still put the number here, you have the distance, okay, either inside or outside. For example, here, I give the inside, 
with the 120. All right. And then still, I can cut it. Okay. Cut into different shape. The different shape, different shape. The rest part, ignore it. So I can delete. Still use the mouse. Remove. Pull out. To pull out. Pull back. Right. And also here, if you find like, for example, this part, uh, it doesn't contain the, uh, with the correct, correct position. So holding down shift button and double click. Now you all this drawing that you give, you can group them up. And you can now do the duplicate, which means another, say another, or to move, which means, for example, move from this dot, You've done a little bit, and now you can see the correct position. So this is construction free drawing, very useful. Okay, this is the second second uh, C scenario, and the third one. Okay, if you really select this one, and how to say? Actually, it contains two different uh, functions. First is the ceiling editing you need to build up the main part or the basic function, the construction basic from the city. But this one requires a model. So you need to put, you need to put a model onto the top. Let's say if you, I, uh, if I want to put it here, <clears throat> okay? So this time I don't use this one. I don't use the construction free drawing. I can go here. Sitting, still sitting, okay. Give the rectangle. Uh, try to build up the square, okay? Build up square, square. Even sometimes if it's not enough. So I just put build up one exact number, okay? 4,000, 4,000. All right. With this extrusion, very low, okay? Please build that a little big one. For example, 5,000, 500, maybe more, okay? And also the second would be the circle. Just put the center point here. You can see the center point, center point. Click, give the circle. Still with the extrusion, 400. Let's see. And now you can have the shape. You can have the shape. And if you want to put put a detail, you can exit with save to find the construction. Construction. You can have the uh, suspend ceiling. For example, uh, I try to find out that. Of course, you can find some of the ceiling that already finished the design, but it's not on the curve. Mm, let's try to find some. Of it. Curve. Yeah, that's the shape, that's model. You can just directly to put you put Or, yeah. I believe some of the that contains the doom. Where is the doom? Yeah. 
you can directly upload if you can't find you can upload you can upload in your to the model you can find some of the, uh, the, the models and then to put it here and just pay attention here I believe I have some before instructions yeah like this one ah got it okay to put and to drag because this is some of the models that I manually upload and do the favorite so here you can see right if you really want some I can give some of the um, an adjustment but maybe maybe some of it written in simple by Chinese so you can do some editing an adjustment okay okay that's not enough for the altitude so here height you can adjust give them higher ah that's here that's not enough for the adjustment so continue to give the gap extrusion 1000 here extrusion 700 and now let's return downward distance from ground And you can see that yeah and now you can see the doom of course some of the doom contains some of the uh, decorations which will be much uh, beautiful so you can use some of it you can use it just pay attention here because the default setting is ceiling okay this is the ceiling model if you use from the very beginning it will automatically snap to the edge so try to adjust okay adjust according to your city so use 2d ceiling adjust the size okay so this is a way that you if you want to use some of the models some of the uh, beautiful scenarios you can do that like this one okay just to put Okay, put with the distance. Okay, so this is the one, two, three, three different scenarios. Okay, and uh, anything you want here. <laughs> yeah, I can put some uh, some more models and to share to you. Okay, how to add the light in the distance between the wall and the offset you create uh between the wall and the offset wait a second do you mean like uh, like the gap like the edge between the wall and the offset right curve okay yeah curve sitting curve sitting yes How to add the light in the distance? Uh, I'm not sure with the texture, text uh, you 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 type in the light in with the distance between the wall of the because just now from the beginning I show you it to use the line, but I'm not sure if you you mean the edge. Okay, that's the corner edge, ninety degree the corner. Uh, for the second city. Uh, this one. Uh, you you mean put the the, the, the oh I, I got your meaning. You mean to put the lights here uh, according to the edge, right? Okay, got your meaning, but later I will show you. Later I will show you. Yeah. I, I prepare this. Okay. And for this seating actually is it's not quite hard because you separate different parts that then you can uh, analyze out. But for this, I'm not sure if you met this situation before. Have you ever tried this? 
Do you know how to do it? Do you want to know how to do it? Okay, this is the ceiling, but it's for the roof, the roof ceiling. If it, do you want, do you want to know? Which you want to know? Just mark out one, two, three, four, which you want. <laughs> Attic window. <laughs> Ready? All of them. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Don't panic. Don't get too exciting. This time I will show you. Okay. So I can also give you the forecast beforehand. Today you got the, uh, you, you, you have an exercise after class. Okay. That is for this roof scene. And I will show you how to do it. From the first part, still I need to draw out, okay? If you want to do the design, first, of course you need a room. The second, you need to lower the wall, which means drop. Give the height, lower, for example, 800 or 1000, whatever. And then change, change the room name. Here we have the room type. Give the name as terrace, the room type, okay? For the room name, of course you can name it. For example, the living room, okay, over extra, you, you can type whatever you want. But this room type, you need to select the terrace. Why? Because <clears throat> you can see in 3D, you have indoors, but this time you need to build up. You need to build up the outdoors, okay? And then the second, the second, still we need an advanced tool, okay? Here, construction as well. In construction, you need to draw, you need to draw out the rest, roof, the parts, okay, the lights, okay. For example, this time, I need to first give a rectangle, endpoint to endpoint, okay. This is not hard, right? It's, it's not hard though. But the second, you need a guideline. For guideline, which means it will help us to know what exact position it should be. For example, I borrow one, borrow this line, click to move. Here you have the midpoint. Okay, mark out that midpoint first. And the second, give one line from the uh, from here, the midpoint to the left. For example, um, give a 100, uh, uh, 1,200, same here, 1,000. Just put your mouse here to the surface, 200 as well. Now mark out the roof. And this time, give the line, use the line, click, point to point. See, because here you already add up the guidelines, you can click the line, the dot from the start point, and here another dot from the end point. And now you can have one line. And also to move here, you can have the intersection point. Because our cool home system already recognized out the horizontal or vertical, okay, the vertical line, you can directly move your mouse here, auto snap it to the intersection point and the third endpoint. Now we draw out the shape, okay? This shape is called the uh, trapezoid, right? Trapezoid. So after that, delete this line and now directly to push, you can now have the roof, okay. How long is it? I don't know, so I can use the measure because just I draw the render in the room, okay. Here, one, how is that? 13,280, okay. So draw out, 13,280. And 
delete the use list. Okay, of course you need this one. You need the internal area, but I don't need that flow, so I delete it. Now you can have it. Okay, uh, of course it looks like uh, some of the drills or like uh, very big basic. Okay, okay, and then and then here let's say we have the ceiling. Okay, you can use this one, the push or pull to push downward a little bit, give a ceiling. For example, 300 as well, still 300 ceiling. And we can put some of the light strip. See here, we can put some light strip. Where is it? Actually, it's here. Light strip, click. And you can have light strip here. Pay attention. This time, this light strip only allows in construction free drawing. It's not like those in the uh, in the surface that design the surface, for example, the ceiling floor and wall. Okay, it is not the same. If you click here, light strip. Okay, of course I need that light through. I have the light strip, the brightness you can control. For example, three hundred color. Take a little warm. Okay. And also here, adjust the number. Here, remember every time, type the number with enter as the end, okay? Always remember, because if you, you ignore or you just forget to type enter, you will see nothing change, see? Remember, enter to the end, okay? And then click confirm. Now, you can see with your mouse, you have a light strip go all over it. You need to control it, right? How do you control? Holding down your shift button, click the line, and then put your mouse to the edge, which is correct. Is it correct? Is it correct like this? Of course not, because if you put Okay, put your mouse to the blue zone. If you put like this, okay, the light strip will show here. The lights will light up here. No, I need to light up the roof. So put your mouse here, this part, okay, the end, end button of the, of the ceiling. When you click, now you have that light strip. See, even this time, the light strip you can click to control. Still control again, but adjust again. So this is the light strip specially to the design. Of course, just now some of you asked about the light strip, if I can do the light strip on the curve, okay? I show you, of course you can, of course you can. For example, like this one, still, okay? Just by the way, okay, I just show you by the way. For example, the light strip. Still here to draw. Okay, intersection point to intersection point. Okay. All the rest part, no need. Delete. Still, light strip, if you want, confirm. Holding down your shift button, see? Holding down your shift button and you can do the multi-selection. See that? Holding down shift button, multi-selection. Move your mouse away, you can see the gap. You can see the gap. And now, it also contains the light strip, even with the curve, okay? Just select the correct direction and you can have it. Just now I remember uh, one of you asked about this question, right? So you can still, you can still use like this, which direction is up to your choice. Even this time you can click to delete or you don't want this anymore. Hold it down shift button, double click on your left mouse and delete also is okay. Same here, let's say to this, to this one, okay, 
last trip. Still, uh, I remember 300, the brightness. With this, uh, how many is it? 80, correct. Only now shift the button, click, go. Now we can have it. Okay, live stream. And let's say how to put this. The, the window. This time, this window requires your drawing. You can't just put the model because it's not on the horizontal or vertical. Okay, it's just on the, the, the roof. So let's take a look how to do. First, still we need that guidelines to mark out, for example, distance to edge. Uh, let's say what, 2,000. 2, 500, okay. Also give another gap, one, four, zero, zero. And draw out. Because you, you have already have this line, you can directly, you can directly to put the triangle, other than the rectangle on it, okay. Just like this. And then, and then use this Duplicate, okay? Duplicate this shape, okay? Just ignore the outside, okay? If you want, you can use the rectangle to fill it, to refill it, it doesn't matter, all right? This time, click, duplicate. Still, we need to put them onto the top. For example, this time, duplicate the distance with the thickness with the thickness of 200. And now you build up the roof, the roof that contains, the roof that contains the thickness. And then you can use the rectangle still, dot to dot to fill, to fill this, to fill this shape. Same here, to fill this shape, to fill this shape. Okay, now you can have the bottom and the top, but with this one, Okay, the section position, you need the line. Click, click, now fulfill. Because you already use this two rectangle to fulfill this shape. It only requires your confirming, which is one line, click, click, and finish. Okay, does it finish all of it? No, because here we still have this part. Okay, we still have the frame, the frame of window. If you want to put the frame of window to be reality, remember, still use the rectangle first. Dot, two, dot, it is one. Dot, two, dot, the second one. And also the confirming with the line, click, dot, to dot, finish that, this one dot to dot, okay? If you want to confirm, click. If you can see the face, remember just now we talked about, if you can't click out with the face design, that is not enough. If you can do it, congratulations. You have now the basic frame. And also this part, see this part? This is the glass, right? But before we delete or duplicate, we need to give the frame, right? Because you, you know, as you know, the, 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 the window, at least it contains, right? It contains outer frame. Otherwise it can't directly to put on the wall, okay? So you need to use that offset, give outer, give the outer click, the offset from in, inner, in the area, click to go outer. Okay, still here we have the distance. See, we have the distance. So give 50, let's say 50 millimeter. And now we can have it, right? If you want to do the outside, you can, uh, you can duplicate this one. But if you just do the in, indoor design, because today we're talking about indoor design. So you can just ignore. You don't need to worry about the outside, but you need to duplicate this glass, okay, this surface as the glass to the middle point, 
See here, when you click, you have to duplicate. With this face duplicate, okay, it automatically snap to middle point. Now, delete the back. And you can have now the shape, all right? And just remember, this is not the end because you need to draw out, draw them out with the texture, with the material, right? So still we go to mapping. Yeah, we go mapping, uh, for example, the wood panel, okay? Um, give the, 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 the let's say a little, so for example, like this, put, correct? With the paving. Okay, of course you need a frame, frame, give the paving, paving the rest, here, paving, here, this part also, paving. Well, now it had the outer frame. So what about this one? What about this one? The glass. Okay, if you want a glass, of course, still in mapping, glass, searching. And for the glass here, you can have so many. Okay, this is for special material. You can't use it. But one of it is very useful. What we call, what we call is the plate, okay, the plate glass. Let's find out where is it, um, this one, the plate glass, gray, what's that? Then finishing glass. Ah, here, bucket plate, this one, yeah. If it is really hard to find, Remember, add to favorite. Still, you can see favorite to put. When you put, you can see here. Let's compare. Before that, you can't see anything, right? But we do see. Now you can see outside. So that is the window. However, is it finished? Is, is it finished? No. Because if you see here, from outside, still empty, still the default, default material. Because here, remember, remember, we need to fill the second time, see? Because one face, one face contain two sides, okay? Two sides, I this both two sides you need to give the material otherwise nothing here remember that okay remember that so this is the way to do of course for this shape you can build up more okay you, you can draw out build up more you can draw the some of the different material okay so this is the construction free drawing okay one face two sides one face two sides all right, and by the way, don't use push or pull, okay? Don't use the push or pull to directly to pull because here it's not, it's not on the proper direction, okay? If you use the push or pull, it, you can't just directly to draw. You need to duplicate, use the face duplicate, okay? And for the frame, frame itself, of course you can. For example, just finally give a short okay, thickness, all right? And if you want to give more material, just to remember to put, okay, remember to put, duplicate, duplicate, give the material brush, okay, function, you. one almost here done so now we can have that right 
and then you can finish all this. You can finish all this. So can we now solve the problem? And now you, I believe from this part, you won't be afraid of the roof ceiling, right? I believe most of the time you have your confidence to face that ceiling that is not in the horizontal or vertical way. Am I right? <laughs> okay, if it is uh, helpful, I believe you can use it from the later, okay? And also by another, um, another useful way to do the, to use in the, in this function, okay, in this function, uh, in construction free drawing, you can do the wall design as the whole, as the whole surface. For example, let's return to this one. If you click the wall, you see, click the wall, you can have here the connect faces. And if you do this, for example, to select, to select them, to do the multi-select. Okay. And now if you go to paving, see that? You can have a whole wall as the paving area. You don't need to walk one by another. I believe this really does help to you. Okay, for example, if I want some rail modeling, chair rail modeling, and I give some of the decorations. See? So fast, so easy. Okay, you don't need you don't need that much design in one to another. So you just directly click, use the connect faces, okay? So this also for advanced user, if you can use this well, you can do so many creating steps, okay? To do some of the creations, right? Okay. Uh, any other questions? Any other questions? Okay. Attic uh, floor. Floor? Attic floor? What is that? How to keep a ceiling window blinds? Uh, ceiling window blind. Uh, you mean the, you mean like this one, the blinds or this one? Uh, if you really, you really want, I su suggest you to just upload, upload models, it's much easier. Because if you draw, maybe you need to do the duplicate several times, which is very hard and you can't change the angle. Yeah, it's hard to. Yeah, you, I suggest you to upload some models much easier because it's very hard to give some. Yeah, this this is, is if you really want to draw, you need very detailed detailed uh, uh, sections, so it's hard. Yeah, just upload some models is much better. But this basic shape you can draw out directly. You don't need to waste your time to rebuild to other. So also I can give you some of the, uh, some of the um, function, for example. That's the pre-doing work here. This is the practice guidance after class. You can try to build up this. See that? How is the, how's this one? How's this one? Hello? Yeah, after class, you can try this, okay? And also I gave you another notice. All this cabinet, the cabinet, the wardrobe, the, the, the draft, they all comes from the construction free drawing. It's not, the, um, it's not from the customizing 
furniture. Of course, if you can, you can also build up. But this all comes from, yeah, you can try, you can try this. Okay, you can try this. And finally, finally, I have some questions for you. Do you need that? Open city. Do you ever met this situation or scenario before? The open city? Later I will talk about in the in the floor, okay? Active floor. Yeah. Do you ever met this? Do you ever met this? If yes, I will show you how to, but it's not hard though, because you have some of the uh, models for this, just to put. If yes, okay. If no, I will continue. Okay. Uh, Okay, so you, you've asked about the attic floor. So I'm not sure if you talk about this multi-layer. Wait a second, I actually prepare some, but uh, because this is due to the floor, so I would like you to see the floor editing. Wait a second. The floor, and later I will, see the wall editing okay so uh if you want to know the floors for for example like this one the multi-layer like this i'm not sure if you're talking about this one attic attic floor so from the first floor to the second floor I do mean like this one. If you uh you are you are facing at this kind of a scenario, you can use this. For example, let's go to uh, <clears throat> let's go to the floor floor plan. You can use the add level to build up. Okay. Uh, in order to just give you the sample here, I just create another. Just wait a minute. Because today we're talking about internal, okay, the indoor drawing. So first, if this is the first floor, you can add up, okay. If it automatically, Build, okay, build uh, exactly the same, the same shape, the same size of the floor plan. And of course you can adjust, see, adjust. After that, you use the floor plan. For example, we have, we have a function called the wall structure. You can give the hole to dig, dig a hole as the stairs, as the stairs. And then for the top, for, for the top of the ceiling, for example, like this, still the same line, same line drawing, the draft, right? And the customizing terrace, see? And also to build, for example, the construction, I'm not sure if you're talking about this one, this kind of a function. Still draw out. Right? Still draw out. Same. And then build up all the rest. Still the same. Right? And if you go back, for example, return. Let's go to level one. 
for stairs, actually you have so many, for example, the, uh, the, the, the models, the normal models, constructions, stairs, right? And to put, okay, mirror, you see? Because you already have the, 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 the hole, and now you can just put some of the uh, <clears throat> the elements that connect from first to second or adjust a little bit, scale. Scale. Right, and to the level two, with that railing. The railing to put, for example, here to put the railing. Okay. Right. Instance, duplicate, duplicate. Like this one. And when you go render, you can see the the whole view. You can see the whole view, for example, like there, and to, to build up. I believe this again. Yeah. Wait a second. I will see yours. All right. Yeah, still the same here, still the same, yes. Still use this way to build the attic. Yeah, to put the, uh, to, to put, to put the stairs. Still you need to build up another, another level, just like this one. To build up this another level and to put the, 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 the stairs, okay. Remember to dig the hole. That's the most important thing and then to put the rest of it exactly the same we we've seen here okay but that's for the internal okay for if you really want to design the roof that's the next topic because it, it is harder you need to draw so many that the roof um, constructions but for the internal it's not hard you can just directly to build up <clears throat> okay and Finally, we turn to the wall editor, okay? Uh, just now we will talk about the ceiling, okay? That's the very, you have so many to change, you have so many, but uh, for the floor and the wall, you can see, if you want to put some elements on the floor, okay? Just very easy because here, you still need to draw out the area, draw out the edge. For example, like this, the stairs. Also, you can build up, okay? The floor editor, with the floor editor, you can build up. You can build up so many different elements. For example, the tiles for, for the floors, the wood floors, okay? The floorings, you can have so many. But if you want, you can draw out with the extrusion. For example, this time I give 150, All right? And this time even you can click with the chamfer. Only down shift mouse, uh, shift button with your mouse to double click. Okay, click, 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 and then you can have this. And even this time, give some ties, okay? So you can put, you can put, 
Just pay attention here for the flow. The elevation. Yes. So if you want, you can click. Remember the elevation. Just now we talked about on the ceiling. Just to put the same material and then do some duplicate. And now you can have the function called the stairs. See, you can have the stairs, right? Even sometimes, clear with the light strip, you can find some stairs with light strip. Okay, this time leave you to try. All right, this time leave you to try. And I'm not sure if you will see some tiles like that. Um, if you want to use. You, you need that paving editing. So paving editing is for the ceramic, okay? Most of the time for the ceramic. And you can put some uh, water jet, the pavings, okay, to put, to adjust the size, whatever. You can use the batch creating, for example, to do like that, right? You can do so many uh, combinations with that. So it's uh, up to your choice. It's up to your choice, like this, like this, okay? Just remember the elevation. Don't forget elevation, and that's enough, okay? And <clears throat> for the wall editor, for wall editor, almost the same. Actually, it shares almost the same logic. The same logic you can find some of the function like this even even sometimes the curved the curved wall still you can use some of the floor editing okay you use the floor editing i show you this one for example floor editor and you can draw out just keep your mind opening because sometimes you don't need to fully focus on floor wall ceiling itself. Sometimes it can become another element. For example, your walls can become part of the floor element. For example, like this one. Okay, create. We create this one, give some offset, okay, and become part of the wall. For example, cut it, cut it off. This one, same. Okay, and you see extrusion with some elements, and now it becomes the wall. Okay, Up a little bit, move away. Let's say put it here. You can still have the wall. Still, we have the elevation to use the duplicate create one use the duplicate and now you can have you can have like this okay like the constructions and still here we can build up so many details i'm not sure if you can uh, find some of the construction or scenario in your daily work but this also is some of the elements that you can use in our a uh, curved wall or the construction free drawing, okay? And some of this, for example, like this one, this is not from the the, the hole, the wall, hole on the wall, but it's the door opening. It's from the door opening, okay? I'll give you a sample. Just see here. This is the arc, 
the arc door opening, but this is the normal. If you go, if you go to floor plan, here, door opening, if you put, that's the normal one. But here you can have the arc height, okay? The arc, it's, this arc refers to a very um, accurate, the arc like this, okay? You can add adjust, you can add adjust, but you adjust the two, uh, the two sides, okay? If you want to have one independent, you need the advanced tool, construction. See here, for example here, I need another arc, but it's the single way. It's not the dual size, only single way. So I need to use the rectangle to draw the back. And here, holding down shift button, okay, select these two sides with the chamfer. Okay, you can adjust the chamfer, the size of the chamfer. After finish that, draw again and delete this one and go with the push. The size, exact size is around 240. And now finished. Of course, you can fulfill, uh, fill with some of the uh, elements, the exact the same elements, elements, elements like this. And now you can have one. When you go render, you can't see the CC the border. And now you can have the decoration walls. Okay. So this is the same. And goes the same. Here. And finish. So this is also the way. Try yours. Okay. Try yours. So use them, okay, use this function freely, all right. And finally, I give some of the tips for you because here we have, nowadays have the light strip on not only wall, but also you can see some of the very, very, okay, modern way, design way like this with the connected, light strip. So here, I suggest you to focus on this one. Still, we go to background add strip. Exactly the same. Exactly the same as just now we would put, for example, click or editor. Right, and you can see here, since just now we've already adjusted the ceiling, see, that's the gap of the ceiling. Since now we've finished all the ceiling, okay, we finished the ceiling, so it automatically draw out the edge. So it is helpful. That's why I suggest you to design from ceiling to the floor, finally to the wall, okay? It will recognize out the edge, very easy. And continue our topic, light strip on wall. You can use this one, the path line. This, this kind of line, especially using for your design, for the for, for the element, the light strip element. For example, first you draw out the line and then click. You can see the difference. This is the path line, okay? If you draw the line, you can't go independent, but this, it can, see? Independent exists, okay? You can click the line here, set as light strip, okay? Exert. Embed, okay, brightness, the same, all right? And then here, that's not the end. You can go with the continue drawing, for example, from this dot to, to another. Just remember the dot, 
the measure out to measure out what is the length four thousand three hundred thirty five okay so let's go to the editing continue with this line guideline line here four three three five that's the start point still i continue with the path you draw out see and now still got a very very fluent light strip and now you can see when you go render it will shows okay it will shows it will shows the edge okay so this is light strip that continue continues from from the wall to a uh, wall to the ceiling to the floor and you can continue to build up like this so this is the light strip light strip is very uh, easy to get found in your in your artwork right and also wall editor contains the same okay the same function as we showed before for example the favorite my styling so you can find out whatever even sometimes apply so many okay, complicated constructions still with just one drag which with just one drag you build up for example here done okay very fast you don't need to build up one by another even this time you can see here you have you have that you have that um, lights okay you have the lights on the top so you can build up okay of course you don't need that much delete or not this is height okay hide away you can see that so today I've shown you so many functions and you can try, okay? You can try to build in the very, okay, general case. And for the rest of the part, I would like to invite you to think, how about multi-layers? Do you need to build out the multi-layer like this or like this? Do you need that? If you need, I will show you how. But if you don't, uh, just ignore. Okay, this is multi layer. Do you need that? About multi layer. Do you need? Hello, hello? Okay. So if you need a multi layer, actually, here I show you. I, I I show you I show you over two ways okay different way to build a villa that is new level total level or fake second level which you want to see first which new or total or fake because it ref it refers to different scenario new level only indoor. Total level, you can either indoor or outdoor, okay? But fake, that's a limitation. Which you prefer to see? Which you prefer? Indoor, outdoor, or the very special fake one? <laughs> total level, wow. Wow, you need that total level, okay? So about total level, I show you, I show you total level. Okay, see that working. This is total level. Why? Because the edge, the edge of the first floor and the second floor disappeared. You only you can see only one window, okay, that cover all these, all these. 
And with this function, what you need to focus, let's go to this one. Uh, wait a second, let's have a new one. Clear. Maybe. Clear and more. Okay, let's return to total level here. About total level, what you need to focus is that first draw the floor plan. We need to draw out the floor plan. And the second, don't do the level edit. You need to adjust the height. For example, you need uh, three different levels. So the total height may be reached to 9,000. And now you can have a building. See, you can have the building. With that building, you can build up. For example, you can give the, uh, the, the window, okay. For example, the big window, the big one, or frequently, I suggest you to go to window. See here, we have the size. The size, the size, texture preference. A very big one. Quantity of gate replacement. Eight. Uh, yeah. For example, you have the size, very big one. Okay, you can just directly to put. See the arc window very big. See, this is very useful, especially you want to see all the, of the elements. However, you need to use the advanced tool construction to draw out. You need to draw out the second floor, the third floor, for example, here. Draw out the floor. Okay, even sometimes. See, I can draw out part of it. Okay, the line. See, see that? I can draw out some different uh, shape and do the duplicate. For example, to 3000. 3, right, to the third floor. And with that thickness, let's say 120, delete the rest. You can have different levels. Okay. And also, let's return if you want to put some windows and doors and windows. You can just click floor plan. Okay. Window, put. But if you have happen to have in the second floor, for example, you need to duplicate one and adjust height above floor. Okay, the default setting, let's say if the default setting is 900. For the second floor, you need to add up 3,900. And then to put the number, see. And now you can have different uh, the, the, the windows, the window and the doors for different level, okay? And if you have some rooms internally, you can't just put like that. You need to upload some of the model, especially sometimes, for example, you have the, um, the, the doors, okay, for the window, uh, doors for the wall. So internally, you can't do it because if you, if you hear, it doesn't, in third floor, it doesn't have the walls, okay, like this. But in the second floor, if you have, you need to build still, you need to go to the 
construction free drawing, advanced tool, construction, order here, click, exactly the same. You draw, let's say, draw out, draw out the wall, push, or pull, okay, and with this one, give the, give the door, door opening, duplicate, point to point, all right, let's say what's the gap? My okay, one, one ninety two. Okay, once you push, you can delete twice, delete twice, and then you have, you can now have the gap. You can now have this. Okay, have this door, door opening, and then return. This time you need to upload. You need to upload some of the door models. Like for example, here I have some of my models. I believe I have some doors. Mm, doors. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. This is a independent door. This door it doesn't require. It does. Oh, sorry. It does require. Still does requires the 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 real wall. Okay. If I change to wait a second, doors. Still doors. Yeah, the independent, independent doors. Yeah, like this one. So put this is three thousand above the floor. Roof scale. Moving. And now you can have the function the, the door function see view okay so by this way you can get a uh, exact exact uh, um, exact door okay so this is a little special from what the previous we think you need to put you need to put independent doors okay by this way because it doesn't contain the the same construction up or low so very important this is the total level new level about new level you can just uh, create just now we use the arctic the arctic uh, the, the, the case show you, you add up level one by another. And also uh, this is, it contains a limitation because here you can't, you can't put the big window. You can't put the big window here. So it divided by two or three different the window independently, each floor for each floor. And you need to use the, uh, the, the, the hole, you dig the hole on the second floor. Okay, so this is the new level. Do you want to see the fake second level? So because uh, we have so many using about the villa most of the time indoor. So these two is up to your choice. You can use, but about the fake, this one. Let's see. This one Let, let's let's uh watch this part you can see actually this in the whole same level actually but since you can hide a, hide away you can hide away from the viewings 
So you can still see, you can still move to another. Just take it, just take it as the real second floor. But actually it goes up, no, it only goes to nothing. But for the second floor, then you can go here, right? What you need to do is actually to, to build, okay? To build another. What you need to do is to build another second floor. All right, just don't next to, okay? Don't next to go away a little bit and build up. Take it as the second, second floor. I name it as the first floor, see? And this one, name it as the second floor, see? So you can have yours because it's fake. However, it offers so uh, save a lot of time to build up. And this is the way, okay? New level, total level, fake. If you can uh, just uh, limit the building scenario in indoor, you can either use this tool. But if you want to see the outside, you need a total level here to build up all this construction. So I, I show you some, for example, this one, that's the total level because here you have different shades, right? And this one, normally you can use the new level this one, new level, because you share the same, same shape, up, down, the same, just here, dig a big hole to take it as the whole level, okay? And also you have so many ways to build up, even with nowadays, you can see, seems familiar, why? Because this is the roof, okay? This is the, uh, the, the roof, also building up from the construction free drawing, like this, or even sometimes more complicated, like this. All right, so that is the one by another steps you go from the basic, okay, slim floor wall and to more complicate, for example, the villa, the construction free drawing, all right? So for villa design, uh, today, because we are not only talking about the indoor doings, so if you want this, I, I can give you as the gift, villa design, draw outside room as terrace, okay? Level and wall height adjust to the top, construction for stairs and roofs, and finishes and furnishing. So next time, if you really want to, I can introduce some of the villa design for you. For example, the roofs, okay? Even sometimes the construction designs, okay? So still taking back here, uh, today's, okay, today's topic, we are talking about not only the constructions, but also the construction via the materials, okay? Construction free drawing. And after class, you can try yourself because you already have some skills about this kind of scenario. You can build up even some of this function. You can see you just directly to draw other trapezoid and to push pull. You can push pull this. Okay. So try. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me. Okay.